Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Ethereum, the Puel Multiple. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Now, occasionally, we do like to, in fact, put on our on-chain analysis hat. We must always remind ourselves that on-chain analysis is somewhat dubious at best, as I've said before, therefore, it fits in, to, in perfectly with the content of this channel. But one of the reasons is because, you know, on-chain data could, in fact, be somewhat manipulated fairly easily. So with that in mind, I wanted to talk about the pure multiple. Now, a lot of times when we think about on-chain analysis, a lot of people are actually looking at, at, at Bitcoin, right? Because, I mean, <laughs> that's the, you know, that's typically the most popular one to look at with regards to on-chain analysis in general. We can also look at very similar things for Ethereum. And the Puel multiple is, is an interesting indicator uh, developed by David Puel. And it, it basically is a way to investigate minor profitability. Okay, so you can see that it's calculated by dividing the value of daily issuance in USD, so denominated in USD, by the 365 day moving average of daily is issuance in USD. And, and therefore, when you do that, right, when you do that, you get a very simplistic chart. Now, the, probably one way to, to really gauge where Ethereum is and what we might expect is to simply look at what it looks like for Bitcoin. Okay, so again, Bitcoin is, is a spot where we can start. And if you look at where Bitcoin is on its peel multiple, you can kind of see that it, it, it bounces around this level um, all the way down here. It tends to bottom out at around 0.3. You can kind of see right here at 0.3. In, in 2011, it bottomed around 0.3. It also bottomed at around um, 0.312 in January of 2015. In 2018, it looks like it hit a bottom of around 0.304 or so. Um, and then so far, the lowest it's gotten this time is 0.347. Okay, but the, the point is, is you can kind of see that every bear market, the, the Puel multiple for Bitcoin ends up coming back down to this level eventually right eventually you go look at it for ethereum and it and it shows you where we potentially are in the context of this overall bear market with respect to where we've been in the past with prior bear markets okay so again there's no guarantees that we ever have to go as high as we've been before there's no guarantees we have to go as low as we've been before again you can see that ethereum did not even go as high as it did last market cycle with the peel multiple but it does give you a gauge as to as to what would be if we were to make it to that level, what would have been the market cycle bottom for the last market cycle for ETH? Now, the bottom for ETH on the Peel multiple last cycle was approximately 0.154. Currently, the Peel multiple is actually sitting at around 0.406, and the lowest it has gone so far is around point or sorry no the, the lowest it's been so far is around 0.296 and it's currently sitting at around yeah it's currently sitting at around 0.406 so 0.406 currently um but the lowest it went was around 0.296 again compared that to where it, it bottomed last time it was it was actually a, a quite a bit lower so it sort of does beg the question well does you know will there ultimately be another another leg down for ethereum i do think that if bitcoin gets too comfortable in a range, you could see something like that play out. That's actually what happened a few weeks ago where we saw Ethereum kind of go down. Um, but anyways, if you, if you look to see where we are right now, where with where we were last cycle when it was around this range, it sort of corresponded to this range, um, you know, the September and October and November range when we were just sort of going sideways um, at this area. We could also look at the the actual pure multiple minor revenue as well. I mean, that actually shows up right here. It's um, fairly similar, but um, tells, I mean, of course, it tells a, a, a really, a really familiar or similar story. But regardless, one of the, one of the interesting things about looking at this on-chain data is, I, I believe, is it really helps you to understand when a market has potentially fully unwinded, right? When, when has it been fully unwound? Uh, what would it take to get there? And, and if we do get there, the opportunity that, that is presented, you know, and that's one of the things I keep talking about is, yeah, I know like bear markets suck. No one really wants to live through them. But the great thing about them is that for the people that actually stick through it, 
it it generally leads to amazing uh, opportunities on on the assets that you love. You just have to wait a while to to to, to get those um, nice evaluations, and certainly you can see that the peel multiple for ETH has actually been in a downtrend really since May of 2011, which is just more evidence, I suppose, to suggest that in a lot of in a lot of senses the the cycle peaks were actually earlier on in the year, and that. This is not really as technical of a top as as this first one. So I you know I look at this and say, well, if if Ethereum does come back down to these lower levels, uh, like it did back in in the end of 2018, if it does something like that, the end of 2022, then you're you're almost simply you, you could be easily looking at just a another great opportunity um, that might just repeat itself once again. Anyways, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. We also do have into the cryptoverse premium at into the cryptoverse.com where you can access this chart as well as a lot of other charts. So we got all, all sorts of on-chain charts that you can access not only for Bitcoin, but also for Ethereum and some other assets as well. Thank you guys for tuning in, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.